各位选民，大家晚上好。Good evening, fellow Singaporeans, and especially Macpherson voters and Marine paraders. Some of you have already decided whom to vote for, but many of you may be still trying to decide. Tonight. I want to present five reasons why you should vote for the Workers' Party in Macpherson and Marine Parade. First, consider the senseless electoral boundary changes that have taken place in Macpherson and Marine Parade over the years. Bradel Heights was a single-member constituency. Then, in the 1991 general election. An opposition candidate got nearly 48% of the vote. The PAP did not respect the voters of Battle Heights. Instead, in the next elections in 1997, Marine Parade extended a long arm inland to absorb Battle Heights. Just look at the names, Heights and Marine. Should they go together? Some time back, I came across someone at Serangoon Central, near the next shopping mall. As you know, that's part of Marine Parade GRC too. Since Marine Parade had always been helmed by former Prime Minister Goh Chok Tong, this resident was optimistic that the estate would get lots of upgrading. He agreed that it was laughable to see a sign at the junction of Lorong Chuan and Serangoon Avenue too saying, Welcome to Marine Parade Town! However, he told me that since he was part of Marine Parade Town, he was eagerly waiting for his covered walkway to the sea. <laughs> we next come to Ju Chiet. NCMP Yi Jen Jong wanted to serve the residents of Ju Chiet. He grew up in Ju Chiet and lives in Ju Chiet. He is not a nomad. In fact, he has not moved at all. When he contested in Ju Chiet in 2011, his share of the votes was 49%. How did the PAP thank Ju Chiet voters? After one term, Charles has abandoned you to contest somewhere else. Your reward is to be part of a GRC. We are told that electoral boundary changes are due to population trends. I will leave it to you to decide. Were they due to population trends or because of voting trends? Are they taking us for fools? One final puzzle from the boundary changes. McPherson was carved out of Marine Parade, leaving the new SMC to be defended by Tin Paling, who has just given birth. Mr. Tan Chuan Jin says Paling is well placed to run on her own, while he himself is in a team which includes former Prime Minister Go Chok Tong. Boundary redrawing in Singapore is not just a joke. It is also a waste of money. When boundaries are redrawn, constituencies are often renamed. Town councils have to spend money to follow up. Signages need to be changed. Accounts need to be audited to transfer monies between town councils. Town council offices may even need to be renovated, dismantled or built. Up to now, these expenses have been paid using town council funds which comprise monies collected from you, the residents. Why should you residents pay for these political games of the PAP? Since the Electoral Boundaries Review Committee comes under the Prime Minister's office, I say let the PMO pay! The second reason why you should vote for the Workers' Party is that you should remember three bad policies implemented when Mr. Goh Chok Tong was Prime Minister from 1990 to 2004. First, voters were threatened that if they did not vote for the PAP, the government would put their estate at the back of the upgrading queue. Second, GRC sizes were increased from three to four and then to five and six seats. Today, PAP realises that large GRCs are no good and is trying to scale back the mistake by having smaller GRCs. Third, 
ministerial salaries were pegged to the private sector during his time and rose sky high, with the Prime Minister himself earning more than $100,000 per month. The third reason for you to vote for Workers' Party is that even if Tan Chuan Jin is not elected, Singapore will still be able to benefit from his talents. Personally, I have no issue with Chuan Jin, especially since he is a resident of Aljunit GRC. But there is no need to worry about Chuan Jin. The PAP will still form the government after this election. So even if the Workers' Party wins Marine Parade, Chuan Jin can serve in other public capacities. There are numerous government-linked companies he could lead and no end of top-level committees that he could sit on. Enough about them. Let's go on to my fourth and fifth reasons why you should vote for the Workers' Party. My fourth reason is that the WT team in McPherson and Marine Parade are an excellent group. Three of them are successful entrepreneurs, Jen Jong, Terence, and Firuz. They are self-starters who have built successful businesses. Terence is also a lawyer. JJ is native to Ju Chiet. Firuz grew up at Haig Road. Terence lives in Kambangan. Dylan Ng has risen from humble beginnings to become head of wealth management and loan sales in a bank. He understands the value of hard work. Her Ting Ru is a corporate lawyer. Smart yet humble, young yet mature. In McPherson, we are fielding Chen Jia Si Bernard. Bernard may be under 30, but his political activism started nearly 10 years ago. His family is not well off. Through sheer determination, he managed to move from polytechnic education to NUS and then got a scholarship and obtained a master's degree from Oxford University. The Workers' Party is giving you a well-balanced and dedicated team. Give them a chance to show you what they can do for you! My final reason for you to vote for Workers' Party is perhaps the most important one. When you vote, please consider voting in the national interest. In 2011, the PAP won only 60% of the popular vote, yet they got 93% of the seats in Parliament. This means that about 33% of Singaporeans' voices are not represented in Parliament. Is this good for Singapore? The first past the post system has its limitations, especially coupled with GRCs. But you have the power to vote for a more balanced system. So on 11 September, vote for a Singapore that respects differences. Vote for a Singapore that respects checks on power. Vote for a Singapore that you want to leave to future generations. Empower your future. Vote for the Workers' Party.